is up guys today is a little bit of a different video because we were playing this game that came out a few months ago it's called Jurassic World Evolution you may have heard of it you've maybe seen uh, Gaming Beaver play it it's a really cool game he uh, um, Gaming Beaver is an absolute pro at the game if you know anyone else that's pro at the game um, I'm sorry I didn't uh, say their name because I uh, Gaming Beaver is the only one I know about. I've started my world already a few months ago. I don't have much money because uh, um, I, uh, I, I kind of been wasting all of it. And now I don't have enough for the Center, so I don't get it. <laughs> I'm gonna go send my uh, my dig team out. Oh my gosh, I can't afford any of this. I can't afford anything. Oh my, my brother just gave me some really good advice. So, Jonah, tell me how to do that. Tell me how to do that. Oh, there. Okay. Here we go. Now, oh. Sorry, guys, my earbud fell out. So, basically, what we are going to do is build a ham and creation lab, uh, b uh, get dinosaurs, uh, get a viewing center, and some other stuff. Okay, this is as good a place as we begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Great way to describe the I think he knows what they are. They are dinosaurs. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> ah, just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Yeah, which is... The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws, what can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. Um, that guy that was just talking, there's, uh, that said there's, uh, the, uh, last time into the next, that is Dark Dr. Malcolm from the first movie, and uh, so, the first movie, so, I'm releasing my Lucio Minus, and I know what I'm gonna call, uh, <coughs> 
Foundation has three main what? areas of interest security, entertainment, and science. Oh. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They will offer opportunities like and incentives for you to be part of their I mean, team. Yeah, like three Choose million one of their contracts, and it'll help you develop your facility. Ah, um, Dr. Dua. I this is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operations. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control oh, yeah. room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase, meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Okay, now we're going... I wish I had... We'll make one more of these. Oh. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. I'm just gonna start mission. There. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven. And I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Together, we can create a pharaoh authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house yeah, our dinosaur. Then we will know if our Jonah, efforts will have been worth it. How do I spell ram? Our new specimens, okay, sorry, thanks. dinosaurs, are meeting expectations. But we want them to thrive. Uh, That's your next right assignment. Right Making sure our specimens ram. are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. Yeah, but they could look cute because they actually have long spots and I have zero battery. So guys, sorry that um, at the beginning of the video I was like all hyped for this. Yeah, it just, I've gotten tired a little bit. Even though it's like 5 o'clock and it's 5 o'clock. Yeah. 
Why is that just the sticker heat? Look at that. It's like two roads, separate roads, connect to each other. And, and like, why do you need that? It's, is this like an exercise center? And if you want to stop and do some drugs, you, show, and you sit on the ground over here. And, and like, over here is, I have no idea. You know? Land. Shrubbery. 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 And also put in a few more trees. Actually, lots of trees. Let's see if they in my downstairs at home. They they like a little sun flow and it doesn't have enough food. There's no food. But I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Are you already 
have enough of these. I had to put one of the power lines inside of the enclosure. Sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm losing money fast. Yes. This contract looks important, unworthy of consideration. Okay, I just need money. Don't tell me. to go in the water and get eaten by Megalodon and most of yours. Mm. Is the out there? That's the escape. We do not have a big park right now. Struthomimus. I mean, Struthom Struthomimus. And sorry about all these names, guys. It's just 
And then my brother's gaming chair he got uh, he got today from uh, our grandma and pa. And it was our uh, cousin's old one. And um, uh, and he didn't want it anymore, I'm pretty sure, or something else. Wait, did I just get... I already had a small power station. <laughs> oh, so dumb. So dumb. I've got so much power lines. Like, it's unbelievable of how many power lines I have. It's like, do, 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 do. it's like, oh my gosh, so many power lines. There's even one for the dino, so. They wanna play their, soul, uh, their dino phone? Play with Graham and Becky. First, Ed. That's what I'm gonna name For Ed Montos. Rexy's laughing gases and floating uh, all over the island. Or something like that. Maybe from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And if you haven't seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, see it. It's a great movie. Yeah, and, uh, guys, you know, um, uh, the, if dinosaurs could talk, um, uh, that gaming beaver makes? The bo uh, the one and uh, the the dinosaurs that sound like boys are actually girls, and the uh, ones that sound like girls are actually boys. Because uh, the Endoraptor from uh, the if dinosaurs could talk, 
was a boy. Was a boy. Because it died due to the blue and the triceratops skull. And uh, and that is the uh, one of the only ones that sounded like a girl. That was actually a boy. Yeah. And the other one that sounded like a bo a girl and was actually a boy was that was wait. Let me show you. Was that. this game so I hardly understand it. Uh, I'm going to send my men out on another expedition because I'm savage. Yeah. What's the problem with me being savage? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to get some ceratosaurus. Don't feel your pain. Look, they have ho we've hologram doors. That's the good thing about Jurassic Park. We've hologram doors. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for any inconvenience experienced during our recent handling of anomalous events. Okay. Enclosures. make a great team. I present the contracts, you complete them, everybody wins. So how about we rack up another win, huh? Because of one little a branch, just there. 
So what my brother has you guys, you're probably so what does your brother have your, on your account? Well the best thing he probably has the best dinosaur is probably um the Endoraptor. Yeah, you heard me. He has it. Okay, <laughs> that's enough water. Cause we go. Gotta also put some shrubbery. And I've spent so much money. That one. Meat stuff down. Crap. Do that first. I'm doing is uh, amber. Up for the salad. Jonah, get over here. Um, uh, can you help me uh, make uh, good choices with the game? Because I'm back down to like 100, like something. Oh. Yeah. I barely uh, have enough money to go on expeditions. Oh my gosh, I, I feel like I need to restart again, but my glory. <laughs> well, it isn't really, it isn't glory yet. Cause I'm gonna be working on this for a while. So I just made this giant enclosure. Now you're gonna say I don't have enough money to put some meat in it? Like, how am I still able to get that? Too expensive. Cost of the red uh cause of the red lights too expensive <laughs> and then guests oh my god I don't have money for anything I need to get a, a, a restaurant and what I call it a hibachi. I've never actually been to a hibachi, but I've heard of it. Yeah, new oh, I thought it was like nuclear chemicals, but it's Wait, wait, no, there's no way for me to get it tranked. 
Lifespan 53. Wait. How old is Buddy? He is four years old. <coughs> Lifespan jeans. Uh, I didn't know uh, dinosaurs could wear some jeans. Just kidding. It's, uh, it's <coughs> If I could, do you think I would? Oh, missing another Rufio This is what um, uh, evolved from the